Hola. Here to do a pick card reading, guys. Today we're asking the question, what signs you may see prior to your next relationship? So pretty much what will life be like prior to your next relationship? Once again, we're asking what signs might you see prior to your next relationship? We will do an extended read on this where we will take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask, what are you needing to transcend or let go of? So how do you need to make space? And we'll also ask who is coming in for you. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Should it res resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments and give me that thumbs up because YouTube be dripping, dripping. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. Move, walk your job ass on away from it because don't nobody care for real. I promise you, I don't. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can find all of that information in the description box below. If you would like to book a life coaching session with me because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching, just did not stamp those initials on the back of my name or give myself that title. You can find all of that information down below. Currently, I believe I have four because I got a, a new Braveheart yesterday. So I think I have four spots available for life coaching. So get in where you fit in. If you are interested in about 75% of the decks that I use on the channel, including this Oracle deck that you see up here, you can find an Amazon list titled, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things, where you will not only find some of my favorite tarot cards and also Oracle cards, but you'll find a lot of things that I use in my life from day to day. This includes supplements, shower filters, all kind of shit. So go check that out. Fashion, all kind of stuff. Um... And then if you are interested in donating to the channel, to the GoFundMe, to my wholeness, in any shape, way, form, or brave heartedom, you can find my Amazon wish list down below, as well as all the links to my GoFundMe, my Cash App, so on and so forth. This includes all of my social media platforms. So we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be new beginnings. Because this is what we own. Choice number two is going to be adventures. Because this is what we own. And choice number three is going to be success. Because this is what we own. I put on for my city, on, on for my city. I put on for my city, on, on for my city. Or maybe you put on for your ancestors. Or maybe you put on for your kids. Or maybe you put on for your last name, not your first. Whatever you put on for, just put on for it. Put on, on. Okay. So on the count of three, we are going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be new beginnings? Is it going to be adventures? Or is it going to be success? All righty. So universe, the people who chose reading number one, new beginnings, they put on for whatever, on, on for whatever. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship, universe? The good one coming in. Best possibilities, the ultimate possibilities. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship universe? Please make these messages as simple and as clear as possible. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship? <laughs> Let the sun shine. Let the sun shine in the sun. We have... Five of Swords. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship, universe? We have the Five of Crystals that fell out or the Five of Wands. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship? What is their life going to be like prior to their next relationship? Paint this picture up. Pay a picture for them. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship universe? What 
signs might they see prior to their next relationship? Four of Wands. So we have the Sun, the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, two fives, and the Four of Wands, or Four of Crystals in this deck. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship, universe? Ooh, the Hangman. Don't rush. Slow touch. Da -da 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 -ba. Pull push. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship, universe? Hermit card. Queen of Crystals. Oh, that came out quick. Fool card. New beginnings for show. For show on that hoe. For show on that hoe. Bottom of the deck, nine of crystals. Bet. So the signs you may see prior to your next relationship or what your life might be like prior to your next relationship is you've come out of something very tough and you're still, you, you are still dealing with remnants of past hurts and pains. This could be relationships, but I feel like it's a little bit more than that. I feel like it's overflown into like family, friends, and just looking at your life and seeing who's down for you. <laughs> you hear me? Like Tupac and uh John B, baby, are you still down? No, nah, you ain't, so you got to get the hell on. You got to leave me alone. Pack your bags. Get on. Because <laughs> you ain't trying to have it no more. So prior to your next relationship, I just see you in a lot of isolation and bringing a lot of things into your awareness and really pulling the swords out, the swords of betrayal. You're looking at everything and bringing that into your awareness. So you're not just brushing past it. You're looking at yourself and how you ignored certain red flags, how you were possibly an overgiver. For some of you all, the taker in situations, but just the imbalance of it all. And you go in and out of kind of this funk. I feel like you've been in a lot of deep depression. You've been in, in self-isolation. You've been in a state of awareness to where you are reviewing things and you've been guarded of yourself, guarded to relationships of any kind, friendships, letting new people in, coworkers, family, friends. You've just been really isolated and the dawn is rising above you and so there's light coming into this darkness that you found yourself in for a very long time it has been grueling and it has been hellish because you've had to peel back the layers of your soul and so there is currently no rush to move into another situation there's a huge focus on work a huge focus on nurturing yourself the things that you want I feel like you are at a point in your life where, or you will be prior to your next relationship, you'll be at a point in your life to where everything can go and you don't give a fuck about it. I don't care about losing a job. I don't care about losing the friends. I don't care about losing this apartment, this house, this um, the place I live at. It, it's just like, there's a feeling there. It's almost like a calling um, to your soul that something new wants to be birthed within your life you hear it and you can't see it you feel it and you don't know in which direction it's coming from but there's like this inner calling that's drawing you out to all these new beginnings that will allow you to free flow that will allow you to be a wild spirit that will allow you to be happy and to be joyous and elevated and illuminated and radiated right and so you are um, he, licking your wounds, healing your wounds. And that's, that's where you'll find yourself prior to your next relationship, but it will extend far beyond a relationship, healing yourself from just a relationship with a lover. This is about total healing. This is about total awareness. This is about really being brutally honest with yourself and dealing with a lot of the past pains that you had a part in because you kept attracting the same type of person or the same type of people and you're tracing that back and seeing where it stems from and so 
Inevitably, you're digging up the roots. You are going down like you don't want to repeat these same cycles anymore. And so you are being extremely accountable and doing things the quote unquote right way by isolating yourself and protecting yourself and nurturing yourself and being patient with yourself and giving yourself the grace and the tenderness to allow yourself to feel your way through these things and not just rushing into somebody, uh, into another relationship or to, into other friendships or into other working ships or whatever kind of ship you may have typically preoccupied yourself with you're not doing that anymore you're just being patient with the process and you're being patient with yourself and you're really really i can't stress this enough you will really be looking at yourself and looking at the ways in which you have self-sabotaged in your relationships by allowing these people in and by attracting the same type of people in because you have been ignoring the the your pain the root and so um, you may have found yourself in a place of stagnation. You have, you've been um, immersed within darkness. You've been um, silent, quiet, distanced. And there's a dawn, there's a light, there, there's movement again. And I don't think that there will be a focus on relationships but i wouldn't be surprised if in the extended when we ask the question what are you needing to transcend or to let go of i wouldn't be surprised if it's the safety of this darkness because i say that because this darkness has offered you you know i don't think the brave hearts well some of y'all's asses do it but for the most part you know darkness is um, pushed away the darkness we fear it right but a lot of us um we find comfort in it once we get cozy like you know and that can be in a multitude of ways it could be you find comfort in playing victim and being in a victim consciousness you know um the darkness gives birth to a lot of things you know a lot of people before they move into that newness, the unknown of this new life, a lot of people just like to stay comforted with or in the darkness with um, their demons. They don't want to break free from those because at least they, you know them, you know? And so there are a lot of reasons that people like to stay in the darkness. For some, you can just see clearly in the dark, you know? And, and I think a lot of people do this thing where they they play like the modern oh i'm helping people and you know i can stay in this darkness and i can be relatable and i can yeah you still gotta move you still gotta move you know that's that's just the ebb and flow of life you'll come back to darkness but it'd be something else but you gotta move and so there's a sense or an element of comfort in this darkness and i don't think for people who resonate with this it'll be um in in the mindset of victim consciousness because this isn't a victim here because you're more than anything you're looking at yourself and you're realizing you can't change anybody else but you absolutely can change yourself and that's what you're dealing with you know um so yeah i could go on and on because this is really dope this right here but there's a new dawn a new day yep so strange fruit. Why am I thinking of that? <sighs> Some of y'all know what that means. But anyway, so we're going to do an extended read on this. We're going to take a deeper dive into the overview. We're going to ask, what are you needing to let go of, to transcend, to make space for? And also, who exactly is coming in? And hopefully we'll see their purpose. I don't like getting too far into that because then y'all be like, ah, oh, that sound like my ex. No, nah, Nick, you sound like your ex. <laughs> How about that? You sound like your ex. You sound like the person you used to be. It ain't your ex, it's you. It, you wouldn't be attracting your ex if your ass wasn't still in the same frequency or vibration. So don't come into the extended with that energy. I don't think these people will, but I'm gonna have to, It's come, it must be for number two because somebody, I feel it. I feel it. I feel a oomp coming on and I'm a oomp your ass right back. So don't do it. Okay. So if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, 
You can find all of that information down below. If you want to follow me over to the extended, that'll be linked down below in the description box as well. You can book a life coaching session with me, which these people in read number one, you all may need a life, life coaching session just to kind of see your way into the next phase because you've been dealing with a lot. So we can create some goals and things for that. You can find that link down below. Uh, if you like to follow me on Instagram, the name is The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. If you want to follow me on Facebook, I don't accept anybody in my on my personal page, which you ain't missing much because I'm not really on Facebook that much. Um, I'm mostly on TikTok or Instagram, but mostly Instagram. Um, but you're welcome to follow me on my Facebook group called The Braveheart Experience, which I do interact. And also, you can follow me on TikTok. I have two pages, Mystic Butterfly. I actually have four pages, but anyway. Um, Mystic Butterfly and also the Red Pill Pusher where there are more tarot card readings. 60 second tarot card readings. So you can follow me over there as well. If you are addicted right now, which a lot of the brave hearts are weaning themselves off of tarot cards because y'all are just letting it be. Including myself. And I don't want to enable anybody. So I took a break. Um, if you don't want to follow my ass nowhere, shit, you ain't gotta, just stay down, y'all. It's a motherfucking marathon. Okay. I'm crunk today. I'm way too crunk. All right, universe, we moving on. Adventures. Timestamp. Wrote it down. So, universe, what are they, what is their life going to be like prior to this next relationship? What signs might they see? Prior to their next relationship universe. What is life going to be like? For the people. Looking for adventures. What signs might they see. Prior to their next relationship universe. The lovers. What signs might they see. Prior to. Their next relationship. What signs might. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship? It's so funny because at the end of reading number one, I start going off on the singles because I hate doing single readings because when I start doing single readings, y'all be like, that sound like my ex. No, you sound like your ex. You sound like you ain't left the energy of your ex. That's what it is. It's not that your ex is coming towards you. You ain't moved from your ex. And now I see why I was going off. Because I said, this ain't even got nothing to do with number one. It must be number two. And it is. Because there you go. What signs might you see prior to your next relationship? What signs might you see prior to your next relationship? So if y'all don't want to get an earful, you might as well click off. Because your ass then brought an ex into the mix. And this ain't even what we looking for. What signs might you see prior to your next relationship? And don't be laughing. Don't be laughing. I'm going to put your ass in time out. Hey. Page of cups. What signs might you see prior to your next relationship? An X factor. Care for me, care for me. I know you care for me, there for me, there for me. Say you be there for me. Cry for me, cry for me. Said you be there for me. <laughs> What signs might you see prior to your next relationship? One card at a time. Let's separate these. One card at a time, universe. What signs might they see prior to? I keep letting you back in. How can I explain myself? You ought to be ashamed in my grandmother's voice. You ought to be ashamed. As painful as this thing has been, I just can't be with no one else. And y'all feel that shit too, because I got tingles all over. Because I know what we've got to do. You let go, and I let go too. Because no one's hurt me more than you with your funky ass and no one ever will that's why queen of wands queen of swords here we go with this bullshit what 
signs might you see prior to your next relationship? <laughs> All right. Y'all don't think fat meat is crazy. Three of swords. King of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. No matter how I think we grow, you all thank God. The food card come through, number two. You done learned that lesson. Hierophant. Let's do it. Y'all better be prepared because I'm gonna go off on y'all. No, I'm joking. Okay. The signs that you might see prior to your next relationship. Lord. You have a situation here with somebody who I feel was manipulative in ways, emotionally manipulative, knows how to pull on your heartstrings, knows how to, you know, I feel like this person, whoever this person is who's hurt you, they're going to come back and they're going to apologize. I do see that. This is somebody who is going to come back in and they're going to, I want to say play this game. Like, and, and, and I'll get to why I want to say that. This person is going to come in and they're going to play this game where they are extremely vulnerable this is going to be somebody, and you might want to go read or watch the reading that I did, the collective reading that I did yesterday, because this goes with this, honestly. Um, they're going to come in extremely vulnerable. They're going to come in very honest. They're going to come in transparent. They're going to come in with tears, very, um, um, very sorrowful. That's not a word. There's a lot of sorrow within this person. There's a lot of regret. There's a lot of pain. And this person is going to come in and they're going to want to have a heart to heart conversation with you. And I feel like it's going to catch you off guard. And the ultimate um, goal for this conversation is this person wants to apologize to you for the pain that they caused you. And I think that it is going to be a very moving situation that you will find yourself in. I think that it is going to really bring out um, a side of this person that you have never seen before, ever, ever seen before. Um, this is not going to be somebody up on a high horse. This is not going to be somebody who plays game. This is going to be somebody who wants to go, get right down to it and who wants to apologize. I don't, I don't know how else to say that, to apologize for... the wrong, the terror, the word I used yesterday in yesterday's reading, the terror that they caused. And I feel like what that's going to do is it's going to offer you some closure. It's going to assist you in being released from the past. It's going to um, set you free. And, and I think that it's going to assist you in reigniting your power, your passion, your light within, and it will help you to complete the rebuilding of yourself. It's that, it's that missing piece that you didn't even know that you needed. But there's so much truth and honesty that comes out of this. Um, however, this you, you, you don't take that apology. You don't take that heartfelt conversation as a we're back together. You don't take that as, so what's next for us? You really stand your ground with it. 
And I think that there's compassion here because of the level of transparency and vulnerability that we see come exuding from this person. I think you offer them compassion. And I think that, you know, you may cry, you may find yourself um, reacting in a way that you never, because it's, it, it, there's a sense or an element of you're, you're finally hearing all the things that would have healed this connection when you all were together now and you may have been in a place where you thought you didn't need that anymore and and I really don't feel like you do need it but I think that there's some type of truth that comes out that pierces your heart and just sets you free from this the way this person was and I don't think this person is the new them is not doing this in an effort to bring you all back together. They're doing it because they really honestly feel like you deserve it and that it's owed to you. But there is an element here where because you're not texting him the next day like, hey, babe, you don't, you, I think there was once upon a time, you all just kind of always fell back in this place. And no matter how much time passed, you just picked up where you left off. There's no picking up where we left off because what we left, where we left it off is dead. It's gone. And so this person starts to realize that they, they've lost you. And they come back around rerouting themselves. And now that I'm talking my way through this, initially I saw you walking away from this person, but I don't right now. What I see happening here, <clears throat> and this could change in the extended, I have to preface this because this is a wild card and that wild card came out yesterday. This is absolutely a wild card. You could still walk away from this person. What I see, this person sees himself as losing you and they, they realize what they've lost. And I don't think that this person, it's not that this person did, wasn't fully aware of what they had with you prior. They just didn't honor it. They just didn't honor it because they were not an honorable person. They, they were not um, with upholding the sacredness of this connection. They just weren't because of everything that they, they were doing in the place that they were and the stunt, the stunted growth, you know, go watch the reading from yesterday. But this person realizes that they've lost you and they're not soaking over the pain that they caused you after they apologize and release it they realize the pain that they've caused themselves and this person has shifted into an energy of longing for you and facing the fact that they may not have you and so you will find yourself in a situation where you will not be wanting a relationship or a reconciliation with this person. You hear them out. You all have a moment, a very sacred moment, and you go on with your life. And that triggers this realization in this person that they've lost you. And this person begins to put in effort to get you again. I, I, I can't say back because this is new. All of this is new. They're new. You're new. All of this is new. And I feel like what ends up happening is this person is heartbroken. There's another person that comes in and we're already in question number three in the extended, but there's another person who comes in and your person 
begins to think about what they need to do to be mature and 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 committable like what they need to do to to raise themselves to your elevation because they're still holding on and so i feel like you this person is holding on to you and this person is saving up for something that they invite you on and and this goes way beyond but i guess what i'm saying is what sign might you see prior to your next relationship because i do feel that you will end up going picking choosing one of these people but the signs that you're going to see is that there are going to be two people in your life one from the past and one from one that is new ish because this person is both of them this these last three cards are both of them and you're running to one of them and i can't see that one um so yeah you're you're gonna have two people in your life and you are going to take a chance upon one of them loving again um opening yourself up again because it's not even loving again opening yourself up again is the sign you'll see prior to your next relationship and that's the adventure of it all you get closure you stand your ground you stand on that hill But we're different. We've moved on. And we even saw the Queen. I just thought about that. Because I don't really remember readings. But we saw the Queen of Swords in the reading yesterday. And it extended. So you stand on it. And it, it's not. You don't. You're not trying to be mean to this person. You just outgrown this. And you. You know. You remember the pain this person caused you. And so this person is just like. Trying to figure out how they can move past this pain because they now they're at a place that you were they're devastated and there's never going to be anybody like this and i messed this up like now they're going through everything that you went through but you're gonna take a leap of faith into something one of these people so i hope that made sense i'm sure it did to whoever it resonated with but whenever you see this reading there is a reading right before this it's a collective reading it's no communication, what the fuck is going on, right? That's the one you need to watch. It's directly before this reading. You need to go watch that reading because it coincides with this completely. So we are gonna do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask, what do you need to transcend or to let go of? And we'll ask who's coming in. We kind of already know, but we'll kind of see, I wanna see who you're running to. So maybe that's what I'll ask. So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link is down below. If you need a life coaching session, that link is down below. I have, I think, four available now. If you are interested in any of the decks that I use, you can find them listed in an Amazon list down below. These are a few of my favorite things. If you want to follow me on Instagram, the name is The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. On Facebook, I have a group called The Brave Heart Experience. And on TikTok, I am Mystic Butterfly and also the Red Pill Push. If you don't want to follow my crazy ass nowhere because you know I'm lost too. Y'all ain't fucking got to Just stay down, y'all. It's the marathon. Okay. Can we get this back on track now? Success. Universe. People who chose success. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship, universe? People who chose success. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship? Please keep these messages as clear and as simple as possible. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship, universe? Hmm? First card out is the Knave of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship, universe? Your honor, let's do it. Riding my pony. What 
signs might you see prior to your next relationship? Two of Wands. What signs might they see prior? Knight of Chalices or Knight of Cups. Ace of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> I like this one. Mm, eight of Swords. What signs might they see prior to their next relationship, Universe? We have the Queen of Swords and we have the Vulnerable Man or the High Priest or the Hierophant, whatever you want to call it. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords. quite interesting the signs you might see is some of you all may have been eating a lot and like making a decision to get things back on track in your life like you about to be summertime fine <laughs> like making a decision to have success in your life making a decision to bring happiness into your own life i just feel like there's a huge focus on self here and just like moving into an energy of working out, feeling good, eating right, and not being tempted by a buffet of things, not being tempted by like, all, like you're honing in on what it is you want, period. You, you are making decisions about what you truly want in your life. And you are being honest about those things, honest about, because I feel like you know what you don't want. And, and there's an element here where people keep coming into your life showing up surprising you and like trying to do all these huge gestures you know like showing you that they're smart or like blowing you up in your dms or something and it's like that's that's not gonna get it you know a lot of the things and, and i posted about this the other day but People are doing a lot of outdated things to try to vie for your attention and it's not working. All it's doing is pissing you off and pushing you away. You don't want anybody to come in and try to wine and dine you or show up in this fancy car or say some slick shit that just turns you completely off. You want genuineness in your life. And I feel like you're moving into the next phase of your life, wanting a lot of honesty, vulnerability, transparency, truth. Your truth is what you um have decided that you want and and you are dealing with your own truth and a lot of ways in which you may have lied to yourself prior you know um dumbing yourself down and being all these things that you're not eating foods that you're not supposed to be eating making decisions that aren't good for your health because i feel like your overall wholeness and health is very vital right now it's very important to you and so you're on the prowl then you're not taking any prisoners and you're not playing any games you're falling no you're rising in love with the sweetness of life again spending a lot of time in nature and really being pulled like your mind is being pulled in all these different directions in regards to getting back to yourself but i feel like figuring out who you are now versus doing things that you used to love to do. It's just figuring out who you are now and maybe taking a lot of things that you ran into in the past that benefited you and bringing them with you. But anything that doesn't benefit you, anything that no longer serves you, anything that's not in your greatest good, you're letting go of and you're not making any apologies for that because there's an honesty and a truthfulness about this and a calculation about where you're headed in life. And I feel like it throws everybody off guard because people try to do these grand gestures around you to make themselves look so smart and to make themselves, and there are people coming at you left and right. And I don't even think that you even see them as being attracted to you or coming on to you. You just get aggravated by all these people because they make themselves look stupid as fuck. Like, stop jumping in my DMs saying stuff. Stop projecting things onto me. Like, 
don't tell me what you like about this or like about what I have on or how I'm wearing my hair or what it like. I don't give a shit what you think right now. And you're solidifying your own knowing in yourself and you're solidifying your truth and what matters to you and what you can truly jail with what you're truly attracting and you're being very specific about what you're attracting into your life and so these little things that people are doing to grab at your attention are just not going to work if it's not genuine and if it's not coming from a place of love and truth and honesty like you catch on to it there's there's no i need to think about it there's no you know well what did they mean by this or there's no naivety with it it's just like you know right off rip when somebody is coming at you with some old pimp shit you don't get your fuck face on away from me like i don't want none of that around me i've been there i've done that i'm not intrigued i'm not impressed and you just see everybody in their truth because you're looking at your own truth and so there's a rawness to this as you close out this cycle and you just know what you want. You are very focused. You are on the prowl and you're prowling up on yourself. You're not looking for anything or anybody. You are just looking to amplify your own vibration, your own life force, your own, like you are in a sense, a little bit masculine, but only in the fact that you are taking action upon your own life to better yourself and to be, to feel better, to do better and to bring yourself back alive. And you just don't have time for any games, like none. You will shift away from people so quick. It'll be like the matrix. They think their head is spinning. You don't have time for no games, no nothing. And it's not that you're not a fun person to be around or that you're taking life too seriously. You just know what you want because you have experienced everything that was lower vibrating than you and all the things that you didn't want in life and so because you've had so much darkness in your life it's just like you are folk i'm focused man tell step to holler at me man like you are just focused focused on your routine and just like making living life to the fullest and living i mean riding this motherfucker to the wheels fall off just like being good with life and nobody can come into your life with shenanigans games um mask these representatives that are just fake and phony like you're not with it you're not with it at all and you you will not compromise your focus Hmm. they better know it so we're gonna that was easy we're gonna do an extended read on this we'll take a deeper dive into the overview we're gonna ask what are you needing to transcend or to let go of and then we'll see who's coming in for you it's it's a bunch of people already trying to get your attention and you don't want none one of them so if you like to join me in the extended the link is down below if you want to follow me on instagram the name is the red pill push with two h's in the push on tiktok the name is Mystic Butterfly and also the Red Pill Pusher. On Facebook, I have a group called The Brave Heart Experience. You can get a life coaching session with me in the link down below and also a personal reading. But if your ass don't want to follow my ass nowhere, you ain't gotta. Just stay down, y'all. It's a motherfucking marathon.